Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. I'm Dex, and we're gonna begin a little experiment. Uh, most of you know, I started a two whip journey this past year, and I've been in the process of acquiring a match set of almost everything that uh, is plaited leather. So I have a match set of four foot signal whips by Peter Jack. And Peter finished these with an English eye, I'm gonna, or type of an English eye. I'm gonna come up close and hopefully you can see this. He finished that with an English eye so that I could change the cracker out from playing between one person to the next. And I got the idea, well, I have a match set of signals, a match set of bull whips, but I don't have a match set of snake whips. Well, what's the difference in a snake whip and a signal whip? A signal whip ends with a cracker that's plaited into the end of the thong. A snake whip ends with a fall. And normally that snake whip is tied on with a fall hitch. Well, I got the idea, what if you took a matched set of falls and attached that fall through the English eye on the end of a signal whip. You would then convert a four foot signal whip into a four foot snake whip. Would that work? Well, I don't know. We're going to conduct this experiment and see. Peter Jack cut me a pair of matched leather falls. Knowing I was going to do this experiment, he's participating with us. So you can see I took the cracker off the English eye and I slid the eye of the fall hitch up over the eye of the English eye on the end of the signal whip. Then I'm going to thread this fall through the loop in the English eye and draw those two together. So now we essentially have the eye of the fall and the eye of the or the, and the English eye replacing what would be a fall hitch on a normal signal or, or normal snake whip. So then, if we can find out what I did with my cracker. Uh, looks, uh, it's right here. <clears throat> then we tie a cracker on the end of this fall and we see how it works. Is it going to behave like a snake whip? Or is it gonna behave like something different? We don't know, but we're gonna find out. So uh, the, th the thing about match sets of whips is they get real expensive real quick because you're doubling the cost of everything. You spend $310 for a bull whip, and when you order a match set, you're now up to uh, six, you know, $620. So now we have a signal and a fall hitch. It's closer to maybe a five foot snake. Um, hmm. All right, I'll be honest. I normally throw a four foot snake in, or, or a three foot snake in the dungeon, which is about four foot total length. This snake's a little longer than what I would normally throw. Uh, this, uh, the way he finished the eye, a little farther down, we've got quite a bit of plaited cracker here. So feedback on the experiment would be if the English eye was finished up closer to the thong so that this was more like that, then I think it would be a viable conversion. Um, I'm not in love with the five foot snake or five foot total length. It's a four foot snake, but it's about five foot total length. Could I throw this in the dungeon? Absolutely. Uh, it's accurate enough. Would I throw it in the dungeon? No, I would probably want to, uh, if I was going to throw it in the dungeon, I'd probably want to do it with a three-foot signal whip, which would convert to a three-foot snake whip, 
which would be about four foot, four and a half foot total length on the snake, which is more what I normally throw in my dungeon bag. So I wouldn't do it with a four foot signal, but I would consider doing it with a three foot signal. Uh, we'll, we'll continue that experiment with three foot signals in a future video, and I'll let you know what I think. You can take a look at it and see what you think. And, uh, and we'll go from there.